but it is more popular now than ever as far as we can tell the ratings are better than they have ever been someone who reads the rating books was telling me the other day that uh, every Saturday night at this time at least one third of all the TV sets that are turned on are turned on to Channel 12 watching wrestling all right there's young Kurt Henning he goes around 222 there is pop <laughs> you think there ain't gonna be something happening Larry the X the army may have bit off more than it can chew we'll see Better do the introduction and get out of there. The next will be two out of three falls. We're to a TV time limit for this uh, tag team grudge match. Introducing in this corner at the team of Playboy Buddy Rose and Rip Oliver. Their opponents in this corner, the team of Kurt Henning and Larry the Axe Henning. He's been around the world many times. He has wrestled against and with the best. He was not asked to come here, incidentally, by Kurt. I especially talked to Kurt about that. He said, no. He says, Dad heard about it on his own. Like these guys double teaming me and going to work in my ribs. He goes about 320, incidentally. Larry the X Penny, H E N N I G, Sun Kurt. And it looks like Larry's going to start it. Nobody wants to start, at least for the Army. Nobody's in there to go against. Still no representative of the Army has been in the ring yet. Sandy by the referee starting a count. And Neither one of them want to wrestle till Kurt comes in. They know Kurt is hurting. The tag in Playboy wants no part of it. The X is back in. The referee finally grabbing Oliver. Trying to throw him in. The axe is here. I'll bring him in. He catches one. Kurt Henning. Kurt is in. Larry the axe tags out. Shoulder throw. There's the tag. The playboy's in. He's taken into the corner. Shoulder toss. Hit with a drop kick. Another drop kick. The tag. Here comes Henning. The X has the playboy in the ring, and oh, he nailed him. He hit him with an elbow smash that might rearrange his teeth. Oh, a 
all that hurt up here. Oliver takes the tag. And the axe tags out. Son Kurt is in. We are in first fall action. Of the best two out of three to a TV time limit. Whip to the far neutral corner. There's that elbow smash again right to the point of the chin. The whip into the ropes. The X. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three. The X is sharp. To say the least. Rip Oliver in. Well, they lock up hands, and that was not too good of an idea, as far as Oliver's concerned. Larry the Axe Hennig wrestling with son Kurt C-U-R-T Kurt Hennig the Army on a number of occasions have gone after Kurt Henning and seriously bruised his ribs he should not be wrestling his doctor told him he shouldn't be but he insisted on it he has his ribs taped, and he has a lot of help with the uh, father, 320 pounds. They're from Minnesota, and the family has long been known in wrestling. Knee drop to the arm, the left arm of the follower. Go to the wing lock. Third hitting, working the wing lock on Rip Oliver. The number to call, incidentally, for tickets for next week, 289-4222, that number good only tomorrow, Sunday, and next Saturday. No way of getting tickets during the week. You can come out to the flea market tomorrow, which is here at the sports arena, 8725 North Chautauqua. That way you go to the concession stand. Buy your tickets, you pay for them, and you have them in your hand. You don't have to wait in line at Will Call to get them next Saturday. Back and forth they go, leapfrog and drop kick. Kurt Hennig showing the moves. That's making him one of the top young wrestlers in the country today. His dad much larger than is Kurt. But Kurt taking advantage of the speed. And the agility, much as uh, the case with Hack Sawyer. Of course, the Hack Sawyer's won the title. The tag, it was good. Sandy Barr was watching. Flying tackle, he dives underneath that. Back drops against that one. Arm drag, slam. Uh-oh. Rose gets caught with the axe coming in. The axe is swinging. Oh! The back of the head slammed into the concrete. Good camera work. Good direction. Larry Bollinger. Whoa! Roundhouse right. a little taste of it so he got it he came in and he got hammered by the axe a judo chop between the fingers illegal but it's one of those things where you get a five count elbow smash on the fingers Buddy Rose taking his punishment after Oliver was pinned by the axe for the first fall. Larry 
Hennig. Turnbuckle treatment. And the old man's son, come on in. And Rose looks like he might be close to be put away, covered with a body press. Oliver in the save it, and I do not think Rose would have gotten up from that. I think Rose made a very propitious tag right there to get out in time as he is hurting. The arm bar. Third hitting. In the egg. I've got to get used to that hitting. He's got Oliver in working on him. The arm bar turned over. May have lost the two straight, uh, lost the chance to have two straight falls. There he had Rose hurting him. Rose is able to roll over. And, here, and tag out. Arm bar turned over. Kurt Hennig with the arm bar. On Oliver, second fall, TV main event. Tag team match the Army, Oliver and Rose against the headaches. Father Larry the Action, son Kurt. Tightening up on the hammerlock. Back to the arm bar, turns it over. Flying tackle. Oliver goes down, ducks underneath it, comes back with a knee lift. To the midsection. And headache. Kurt is caught out in the middle of the ring where he can't get the tag over to dead. Rose taking Kurt heading into the ropes. Lays him down, gonna flop him again. Into the ropes and a backbreaker. He's got him on the mat. And with those ribs, there's extra pain there. Kurt Headache being asked by the referee, does he want to submit? You know there's gotta be some pain. He's leaning back against the hold. Henning. Holding on, now coming back against it. He is rolled up in a victory roll. Count of two, not three. And I thought Kurt had bought the farm right there. Oh, elbow smash. Covers him with a small package. Larry Henning in to save today. The tag. Or maybe not a tag. Backbreaker. Oliver, one, two. And Larry pulls him off that tag. Whip into the knee of Buddy Rose in a small little back. Double club blow. Now Oliver doing some taunting of Larry. Is your boys getting up, beating up pretty bad? How do you like it? And a kick. Throws the southpaw with the leg as well as the arm. Working on Kurt Hennig. And another kick. That one nails him into the ropes on the apron and down on the floor. We are in second fall action. Oliver coming around. But Larry Hedding right there at the corner. Kurt now. Bonnie Ephraim. And swing him back. Three. And catches the shoulder down to the cement floor. Gave you that ticket information. We'll repeat it a little later on. I'm just advising you to get your tickets early for next week. 
A world champion, Ric Flair. The most colorful world champion in my memory. Whoa. Watch out now. He is in trouble. Ow. Rammed against the steel ring post twice. Before Larry sees what happens. Got after him. One, two, and three. He tried to pull him outside the ring, did Larry? But unable to do so. This match is all even as the playboy gets the pin on Kurt Henning. Well on the beach. The cry of the crowd, you know that that's aimed at the playboy. Buddy Rose pinned Kurt Hennig for the previous fall, so they must start this next one. And Kurt looking to be a little proud, not wanting to tag out of there. And I think that might have been his wisest decision. Now he is in trouble. Sponsor messages are put away, so stay with us. We're going to keep it here till it's bye-bye time. Whoa. Rip Oliver slamming the body of Kurt Henning into the turnbuckles. Goes back to the body lock more popularly called the bear hug. Kurt trying to get over for the tag. Sandy Barr, and there's some of the crowd saying what's going on. Oliver went out, but there was no tag. At least that is what is ruled. Body slam. Tag and Rose does come in this time. Goes to the body lock. Bear hug. And Kurt Hennig. Going backwards, uh, trying to get to his dead. He's back swinging on the ropes. He's got to tag out. Those ribs are hurting too badly. Rose goes out. The tag is clean. Rose did not close in on him quickly enough. Larry, the axe is in against the playboy. And he purposely goes over in their corner. He wanted to get an Oliver as well as Rose. And he catches him with the shoulder throw back drop. Working on the playboy in the top two ropes. Oh, he just dumped Oliver in the ring with one hand. Hennig ran them both over where Kurt unloaded, one hand on each. Dives back on the left leg of the playboy. Through the ropes and out on the concrete. 
And I think he's right. He said, we're going out to hurt somebody because they're after us. And I think that Larry Henning might be just exactly that. He wants to put some injury on the pain. And Rose is bleeding. We've got about nine minutes left in this match. To our TV time limit, that's going to be a long nine minutes for the Playboy. If he doesn't get tanged out of there, he is bleeding profusely. The X has cut him open. Diving headbutt. Roundhouse right. 320 pounds, and it's not fat. We're down to eight minutes uh, to go in the match to the time limit. And Rose is hurting and so far not able to get out of there. Now, Kurt Henning making the mistake, I think. Well, maybe he just wanted to get some on Oliver. They've got Rose really hurting. They let Rose get in there and tag. One, two, no. Looks like Kurt Henning. Pride, I'm sure, makes him want to win this third fall. Watch out. Oliver gets him off balance. One, two, flail kick out of it. Oliver would like to tag out. He looked over and saw the condition of Rose, realized he's got to stay in there. The Army is hurting. Seven. Toehold put on Oliver by Kurt Henny. H E M N I G. If you drop it on the line, son is Kurt, as in Curtis. The father is Larry, as in the X. Toehold and Oliver's got trouble. Holding out against this one. Oh, double knee. Knee drop to both hamstrings. And Larry Henning telling the son, spread eagle in. Got those legs hurting. Rose attempting to crawl through the ropes, fell off onto the floor. He is hurting. Bloodied up, knocked literally into the front row. To hold again, Kurt Henning. Bloody Buddy Rose. Remember, we're out of sponsor messages, so we're going to keep it right here. Our ticket information again. 289-4222, that number good only tomorrow during the day and next Saturday. Or the flea market that's held at the sports arena. That is here tomorrow only, Sundays only. Doors open at 8, close about 3. And the concession stand is where the tickets are. Oliver, did he get the tag? I thought he did, but Rose not too quick to come in. Now it does. He's still hurting. Oh, Larry Henning. Double clubs him. Right cross. Covers him with a body press one, and he kicks out of it. Oliver was on his way in to help. Henning, who suffered injury at the hands of the Army, now dealing out some pain. Larry Henning in for an extracurricular blow. 
Oliver grabs the chair from the timekeeper. Oliver's in with the chair. The bell has been rung. Penny took the chair from Oliver. He's using it on Rose, who is outside the ring. And he's telling Sandy Barr, watch out, and then he starts windmilling that steel chair. I don't know if it'll be a no contest or one of the teams will be disqualified. It's a disqualification on the Army. Oliver brought the chair in. Watch out, it's not over yet. Woo. Well, I'll tell you, Larry the Axe Hennig. And he came to town looking for revenge. He got some of it tonight. I doubt if he got as much as he wants.